more photo edge. Hi and welcome back to Plastic Models by Regular Dude and part 6 of the Tamiya 135th scale Panzer II US Capture Project. So where I left off last time I was working on Photo Etch and uh, had to take a break from it because it was getting quite tedious. So I'm back to do some more and I've got the hinges and hasps attached to these boxes here. And these need to go back here like this. So I'm going to need to cut some more um, photo edge parts. Specifically, uh, where is it? Right here. I need two pieces number 19, which are brackets that hold this onto the fender here. And then two pieces number 10. that hold the front of this box here and then two more number 10s on each end of the upper box. So I need to cut those off and get those ready. And here they are, number 10 right there. So as always, I'll demonstrate how I actually do the cutting and cleaning and all of that on the first couple of uh, parts. And then I will do those uh, off camera after that and just focus mainly on assembly so here we go so just using a knife I just push it right up against the part cut through the bit holding it to the fret all the way around Cutting as closely as possible to minimize the amount of cleanup I'm going to need to do. So I need those and then I need part 19, which are these here. So I'm going to slide those out of the way. that then using my tweezers a little bit of cleanup not much so what I'm going to use for that is my photo etch bending tool by Tamiya or Tamiya or however you pronounce it Basically, I just get it on here like this. And then using a sanding stick or a file, in this case a sanding stick, I will, using a fine grit so as not to catch it and bend it, I'll just buzz that little bit off. And then do it on the other side if I can get it clamped in here. Like, like that. Whoops. So again, that's all there is to it. I'm going to do the rest off camera because that's it's quite tedious and it's going to be way boring to watch okay this has been glued in place so now i need to start gluing these brackets on and for that i will be using super glue ultra liquid control sounds high tech don't it basically i'll drop a little bit right there Like 
wipe the excess off the spout and then hopefully using this applicator here and carefully holding it in place I'll apply a little bit like that and it didn't stay Try it again. Hopefully I'm not out of frame there, folks. All right, so I got it. Now for the next one. All right. Okay, this should be in there. I usually zoom in on this, but I haven't yet, so sorry, folks. There we go. Ta-da! Just like that. So now I got to do two here, two here, and then the long ones in the back. Okay, next I need to put these brackets on the back. And for that, I'm going to use... You know what? I should, probably should be able to use the same stuff. So let's give it a try. Worst case scenario, didn't work. Throw the model in the trash. So, God bless it. We need a little bit on the bottom and a little bit. On the top. And then put it right there like that. Hold it. And rejoice. There we go. So I'll do the other one off camera. Parfait. So next, let's see what's next. Um, oh, the next part, I need to do the uh, supports for the back of the, the rear fenders. And those are right here so 33 and 34 so thirty four goes on this side thirty three on this side yep so let me cut those off okay so I got this fender bent and let's test fit it here and make sure the angles correct looks good all right so what I need to do is I need to get some super glue along the bottom edge and right here so let's see um, let's do it this way use a one of these here what you call two picks like that hope I don't drop it just like that oh perfect excellent all right so now I need to do the other side okay with the installation of those brackets and that box there um yeah it looks like the hull photo etch is complete so now i can move on to the turret all right so i got the hinges in place and now i got to put another one of these little latchy deals on here which i find these quite stressful but they gotta go on there so let's see so 
let's get some fresh super glue and then And hold it in place like that. Oh. All right, there's that. So now I need to put this little latchety part on there. Stuck to the tape. There we go. I'm really going to try and stay out of the frame, but I'm not going to make any promises. So there it is. So let's see if I can get this glued without it flying all over the place. Hopefully, that's it. All right, I'm gonna let this sit up for a second and then I'll monkey around with it and see if it actually glued on there. All right, it's on there, so we're good to go with that. So now I think that is all of the photo edge because I got these two glued here. Um, yeah, that looks like all of it. So, yeah. Okay, so that, I believe, finishes all of the photo etch um, one thing I didn't do on camera was put the handles on this box here quite easy no big deal so now I need to glue this on here thusly and with that I should be done with the construction of the kit with the exception of the wheels and tracks but those will come up shortly so let's go ahead and glue this on uh, let's see I think I'm going to use this stuff here some here and here a little bit there and there I don't want a bunch squeezing out all over the place so hopefully hopefully that won't be the case here make sure it's level You know what, I don't want to take a chance here, so 
I am going to make sure it's lined up properly. And put cement on these sides. I don't want this thing popping off in the middle. So these I've already uh, I already cut off and got cleaned up. So it is ready to be glued in place. There are uh, four pins and they only fit a certain way so there's no real worry of getting them misaligned. So there, 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 and one more here. All right. So that concludes construction. <clears throat> for the most part, I'm done with the photo wedge. I still have to do the bracket for the front um, for the tracks. But I'm not going to do that until after I actually build the tracks for the vehicle to make sure I have enough spares to do the front. So the next thing I need to do is I need to do a little bit of scratch building. So the scratch building I need to do is for the this box right here on the side of the vehicle um, that goes right here. Now it's not... There's another shot of it, whoops, right there. Fortunately, I have extra latches because I have that extra uh, photo etch set so that I could do the fenders. Then there's another one right there. So what I need to do is I need to do that. <clears throat> I need to build that box. And then I need to scratch build this metal framework here for jerry cans. So I'm going to start with the box, and I've already um, trimmed some plastic here uh, to do that part. So what I need to do is I need to cut two strips of the appropriate length here and for the back piece. Then I need to do some end pieces and then a top. And what I'm going to do, I think, I think I'm going to, um, I haven't decided if I'm going to scribe the lid line on. That's probably what I'll do, but we'll see. But first thing I need to do is construct the box itself. So I measured out 20 millimeters because that's the uh, size. That I need and then using the back of this blade the reason I'm using this instead of my my uh, scriber is this is really really thick and I don't want to remove too much material so I'm using this instead basically just cutting it off like this and then use my sanding stick to make sure it's squared up like that. So what I'll do is I will cut the rest of the parts that I need and come back and start assembling it. <clears throat> okay, here's the box so far. Um, I put some putty on the edges to kind of fill in the seams 
So I'm gonna have to sand those. And then I can take this lid that I made and just set it in place. And uh, using spare parts from that photo etch set, I will put hinges and hasps on it. But I need to sand it first. So I am going to take, um, let me find some sandpaper. All right, I got the top glued on. So now I just need to let that set up and then I can put the hinges on it. All right, so the next thing I need to do now that I've got that box done and drying is I need to um, make this jerry can rack or whatever it is. So these pictures of these photos are a little bit blurry, so it's kind of really hard to see, but it looks like these outer pieces here are actually welded to the fender here, 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 and here. Wow, I said that too many times. Here, here, and here. So, which would make sense because these jerry cans, these are German jerry cans in 135th scale. And I'm assuming they're scaled correctly. They pretty much span the width of the fender. But then it looks like it's got some... I can't tell what this is here. I'm thinking it might be angle iron. So that's what I'm going to use for these strips that are like laying on top there. But the first thing I need to do is I need to do these parts here. And for that, I'm going to use... Um, it's HO scale 2x4s, but it's, it's the thinnest material that I have. And the most um, to scale looking. So I'm going to get some out here if I can find one of the short ones. That I've already cut and uh, start cutting me some pieces off. All right, so I got these sides made. I've already got this one installed. So now I need to move this one here this one this one i was able to use um to be extra thin but this one i'm going to have to use uh super glue because it's going on to the brass shawl i need to make sure i line it up correctly the first time Make sure it's vertical and all that. That's going to be tricky. Tricky ticky tabby. All right, so I'm gonna have to monkey around with this and do it. And I'm gonna do it off camera because my head will get in the way, I'm sure. All right, you can see here that it is mostly complete. Um, now, is it perfect? Not even close. And I probably could have done with some thinner material, but I didn't have any. So I just went with what I had. The one in the photos, um, you can't really see it, but it's not perfect. You know, like I said, it's a field expedient kind of thing. And I'm sure they, you know, got as close as they could, but they didn't really worry about it being exactly square and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, that's what I'm going with. So the other, the only other part I have left to do is I need to get these um, here. These fit inside of here like this. And I need to trim it off just a little bit. Uh, 
let's see. Take a cut with a knife. But, you know, it's not perfect. And uh, as a matter of fact, I probably could have even done it out of strips of photo etch, but I don't do the soldering thing and I didn't feel like super gluing that much tiny detail together. So there you go. Um, I can't see and again, I can't, I can't really see. It looks like they had it kind of flipped. To where this part was down and that part was over I guess for the cans to maybe sit on so I just need to put it in place like that and do the same thing so I'm gonna glue those two things in and that should finish that up and uh, I can move on man I think oh this thing's all crooked and wonky looking but you know I'm okay with it. Hmm. Anyway, I'll glue these in. And, uh, then I can move on to the next thing, which. All right, I'm gonna have to monkey around with this, folks. Give me a minute. <clears throat> All right, the jerry can rack is done. The extra stowage bin is done, including the photo etch. So the construction is complete on this with the exception of the running gear. So the next thing I need to do is build the tracks. However, I am going to build the tracks on a separate video because I kind of want to do a review and how to assemble without making my current video over long. So I will put a link at the end of this video um, linking to the video where I build the tracks. So I'm going to end part six of the Tamiya 135th scale Panzer II US capture project right here so tune in next time where i think i may be starting some paint so as always thanks for watching plastic models by a regular dude if you have any questions hints tips concerns any of that kind of stuff put them in the comments section down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can so until next time i will see you all later